And we're three minutes, 12 seconds into the ballgame. 7 nothing Badgers. Second down and 10. Here's a counter to Autry. Got by the first man, and now he's got a crease. Donnell Autry all the way to the 35-yard line. Got some nice blocking, and boy, did he use it well. 19 yards. Third down and eight. You saw the 50%. Rating for Northwestern on their third down conversions. Watch for Musso. And he's got it, and he's got a first down. Autry trying to go wide. Bounces off two man. He might score. Autry. Touchdown. Darnell Autry. That's Darnell Autry vintage. Absolutely. If you want to, in a nutshell, one run in what Darnell Autry is all about, this is what he's all about. To join Beasley and Bates. Third down and ten. The deep out again, and Beasley's got this one. Same play as a couple plays ago, and a first down now down at the 15-yard line. Waterman and Bates to the left. Both wide outs that way. Third down and eight. Adrian Autry out of the backfield, but they throw to a wide open Bates for the score. They had the same coverage last time, too. They had them both plays. Greg Myers up here watching the same game I am. Nobody even close to Bates. And for Dwayne, that's his seventh touchdown catch of the year. First down. Northwestern, Schnur wants to throw the slant to Bates again. That's been their big play this year. And he's got it in Wisconsin territory, a pickup of 18. Again, Wisconsin fakes the blitz. They back out of it. Schnur throws complete. And it's a first down throw out to the 33-yard line as he got it to Tucson Waterman. A pickup of 12. And Schnur again rifled that one. You know, and eat it all up. You'd almost have a smiley face the way you do that thing. Adrian Autry's going to oh! score a touchdown. 14 yards. <laughs> you drew it up and he went into the end zone. Yeah, and he wasn't hungry. He just went for the end zone and paid her at that time. What a drive. As nice a drive as you'll see in the Big Ten when you have your backup players in there. So that one goes Northwestern's direction. From the 33, here comes a blitz. Carter ran right by Autry, and Autry ran by him. And now Adrian Autry all the way out to the 50. He ran right by the blitz. Broken arm tackle by Carter and went 17 yards. They're going to need more of him. They fake it to him, and Schnur steps up, goes deep for Musa. What a throw. Got there in a hurry to the 29-yard line. First down. At the 30, uh, the 29, that is. Here's the throw to Bates. One-on-one -on -one out there, and he takes the defensive back. Lamar Campbell out of bounds with him at the 15-yard line. Third down and three. It's a play from now before the decision needs to be made. Crowd deafening. Schnur, Bates, first and goal. I wonder, though, I hope it's the right Autry because he doesn't as strong as Darnell. Adrian Autry, touchdown. They only needed to give it to him one time. He started right, worked back to the left, and he's in the end zone, and there's the other one, and the other one says that'll work. Really impressive drive again by the Northwestern offense, just keeping everybody off balance with the run and the pass, with perfect execution all the way down the field. The wind is behind him. It's going to be a 55-yard field goal for 56 yards. Remember his career-long 50-yarder last year. He the beat Michigan a couple of weeks ago, but that was a lot closer than this. The advantage, Wisconsin will play safe. They're looking for the fake. Goins from 55, no, left side, no good. And what a game it's been. Everything we expected. Wisconsin, if they hold on the next minute, will go to 4-2 and two and get their first conference victory. Northwestern will fall to 5-2 and two and 3-1 and one in conference play. Not making the big plays at the end of the game. Sala makes the play Beasley. And then the two turnovers, I think, have really been the difference in the football game. 143 yards for Rod Dane today. He's been sensational. And here he comes on that draw play. The ball is loose. Oh, my. Northwestern says they have it. We wait for an official call. They do. Oh, my. Why are they even handing the ball off? You wonder. 
With Northwestern having only one time out, they could have taken a knee, couldn't they? There was only 37 seconds left in the game. Yes, they could have just ran out the clock and took a knee. At the 41-yard line, Bates to the left, Musso to the right. Schnur, blitz coming. Steps up, and now he's got wide open space in front of him. Steve Schnur all the way to the 20-yard line. They double-covered Bates that time. That's who he tried to go for the ball to. He wasn't there. Schnur saw it. I like the fade to the outside to Bates. First and 10 at the Wisconsin 20. Pump fake and to Bates and a touchdown. Fade to the outside to Bates. You talk about giving a game away. Wisconsin just gave a game away. Unbelievable. One man's pain sometimes is another man's jubilation. I, I got to be honest with you. I would not put my camera on Ron Dane right now. I put it on the staff for Wisconsin. Goins for the point after. 34 to 30. And now it takes a Wisconsin touchdown, and they've only got 37 seconds left. And it's Hayes, 6'5", and Simmons, 6'2", with all that speed that go to the top of your screen. Merritt comes back the third wide out to the near side. This is going to the end zone. Far side to the end zone. Two men there, Simmons and Hayes, and it's intercepted by Northwestern. Josh Barnes with the interception, and the Wildcats survive again. How many lives do these cats have? Well, they got a gift today. They earned it, but they got a gift. They may have more than nine lives, but today they got one on a platter, I'm afraid, and Barry Alvarez knows it, and Gary Barnett does as well. And as we say, and as you said, who are these guys? What a game.